Hey guys, what's up? It's Corey Allen with uh, ITS Freshwater Muskie Fishing. We're going to do a little bit of live bait fishing. We covered some stuff with Joe Murphy back in the fall. And uh, he showed me some stuff I hadn't tried before. Because a lot of times guys that live bait fish, what they're doing is they're simply just, you know, dragging out the side of the boat, just letting it hang as they fish. We're going to do some of this set it and forget it stuff. Uh, this is one of his STFF rigs. If you don't get it, ask. And uh, these are really well designed. These are really stout. He actually uses a circle hook, which is something not a lot of the sucker rigs use. Actually gives it kind of a center point for direction, hooks it onto the fish, keeps the bait on really well, but it's also pulling it from that front so it's not going to drown them because a lot of times when they're hooked onto the side only, when it starts pulling tension against the fish, the fish actually kind of gets pulled to the side. It drowns. So this gives you the same advantage of a normal circle hook or a uh, quick strike rig. See how the hooks are bent so you can put them into the trout. But then you also use, or anything you're using, we're using trout today, suckers. Um, use the circle hook to put it through their nose, keeps the tension in the front, and then basically what you do is you hook these into the sides, the little bent hooks, those are used to push down into the flesh, so it puts the hooks flush against the body, so if you can imagine this is the fish, you'll see in a second, put it in, holds like that, and then what we're going to do, so we actually have some weight down, but it gives the fish some autonomy, we just really basically put a two ounce, three ounce sinker in the front, it's just going to be a slip swivel or it's just going to be a slip weight, so it's not going to be attached to it, it's just going to slide up and down. So that gives the fish some leeway. So we can let it hit the bottom, the weight will hit the bottom and keep the line down, but then the fish will have, be uh, somewhat free to kind of roam about the cabin, swim a little bit, but he won't be able to come all the way to the surface. We'll be able to control him from that three ounce weight point. Wherever we place it, the fish will have to work off of that, but he won't be totally inhibited from moving. I thought it was pretty cool. So we're going to get this thing rigged up. We're going to put it out. Joe Murphy Sucker Rigs. They're pretty good. You've all heard the story, but don't ignore it. A lot of walleye guys, crappie guys, bass guys, all times of year, especially in the spring, they hook some really big fish and they catch some really big fish on really tiny stuff. So we're going two ends of the spectrum. We're going to use some like 12 to 18 inch live bait. We're also going to use some like 12 to 18 millimeter live bait. Uh, we picked up some toughy shiners, a little bit smaller than the shad. Well, the big ones are going to be about four inches long. So there's really not rocket science to this. The biggest thing you want to consider, though, is like we're going to use about an ounce weight on an egg sinker to keep it down like a Carolina rig. There's something I've pre-rigged to put different baits on, flies and stuff. So it works in that capacity. But the big thing is you want to use a really light wire leader because you are using smaller bait. You don't want it to have any kind of inhibition where, like, it's going to be so thick the fish can't move because a lot of times those heavy wire leaders are going to be so heavy inherently that the bait's not going to be, move, be able to move. But this is some AFW 35, uh, it's 40 pound test, seven strand wire, really easy to tie, really easy to make up, it's really super durable. And you can see it's really, 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 really supple. So that's really not going to inhibit the live bait much at all. I like to use the little snap. You can tie directly, but I like the little snap so you can actually just kind of change it out at will. And we're using some really small, but stout gumkatsu, uh, sorry, owner hooks, uh, the little octopus snell hooks. So let me see here. So this isn't anything too complicated. You want to get enough of a stout hook in. You want the fish to be able to swim. I don't like to do it through the eyes because that kills them pretty quick. So now you've just got right through that little nose. It's exactly how we're going to hook the big bait. But these are so small that literally when you take these, they're going to be able to eat the whole thing. So you don't have to have little side hooks on it like a big quick strike rig. But here, drop it down on the water. 